chat GPT versus Grok. Let's see who can make it the best Minecraft clone in just one hour. All right, so we're gonna start off with chat GPT. Before we start making the game, I'm gonna generate all of the textures, starting with the grass texture. Ah, I mean, you know, I've seen better grass textures in my day, but you know, this one. Now let's do the dirt texture. Wow, that is something right there. That is really good. Matter of fact, I'm gonna give that a thumbs up. All right, now for the wood texture. This looks exactly like the one from Minecraft, I can't lie. All right, now the last one we're gonna do is the leaves. Uh, it kinda looks just like the grass. Now that we have all of our textures right here, we can actually start working on the game. All right, so right here, I have a blank Unity project where we're gonna make the game. So here is the first prompt I'm gonna give the ChatGPT. We're just gonna start off with the movement. All right, so I'm gonna send this and then start the one hour timer. It's telling us to start off by creating the player. So we'll just have to make a beam. And then we have to attach the camera onto the player's head. All right, so with the camera on the head, this is what the player sees. All right, now we can just copy this code for the script and paste it on in here. 107 lines of code for this one. I guess we can test if this works. Let's see. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We're walking around, that's for sure. We can look around, nice. Oh, there's my shadow. Cool. So now that we have the player movement working, it's time to generate some blocky terrain that we can walk on. Here's the prompt I'm gonna give it, very simple. Send this. It has generated two scripts for us, one called Voxel World, which spawns a grid of chunks. Pretty small script, but then this one, Voxel Chunk, that is quite the beefy script. So I'm gonna copy and paste these into the game. All right, now the final step is to press play. I'm kind of scared, like I just don't think this is gonna work, but that'd be insane if it did. Oh my God, what just happened? What? What just happened? Oh, I just fell through the map. Oh no, hold up. Let's try that again. I'm putting the player higher in the sky so we see where we have to land. Oh shoot, whoa. So we're like slightly off centered where the world actually generates. So we just gotta move the player a little bit. Okay, now we should land on the world. Oh my god, this is Minecraft. This is actually Minecraft. Wait, it kind of works. There's some obvious problems right now. It doesn't put a texture like right there. Either that or the texture might be um inside out. So we just can't see it. So it has the answer for us. The face vertex order that's clockwise when looking on the outside of a cube. That's right. I was literally going to tell it to do that. It's this method right here that it wants us to fix. So I'll paste the new one in. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Let's give it another shot. And what do you know? It doesn't work. Nice. So I'm just telling it it's still not working. So I'll copy this, paste that in, and that's the only one it updated. Let's see if that changes anything. Nope. Let's try this. Just put negative one at the back of the, the world object. Can you help do something? That definitely did something. <laughs> So we are running out of time here and nothing is working. So I'm going to give it a screenshot of what the game looks like. Be like, this is what it looks like. Please just take a new approach. It's going to go with a whole new approach here. All right, so let's go ahead and copy this. Paste it. Time to see if it works. Oh, 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 nice. Very nice. Now I'm just stuck underground. So wait, 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 wait. It works. It actually works. Now we can see the sides we can't see the floor and we clip through it you want to be onto something here hold on so it wants us to make these little tweaks right here so if i just copy this and paste this in here all right let's see if it works it won't but we'll see it works we did it yes but wait wait, wait. we have seven minutes okay oh my god oh my god okay so now it's only to add trees to the random uh terrain generation here ain't no way we'll be able to do this five minutes okay so this one's ready i'm gonna copy this code and paste it in. No, four minutes left and it's still generating the code. Hurry up. It's done, it's done. Copy this. Boom. All right, let's give it a shot. Oh, we got trees. We got trees. Oh, they're kind of in the ground, but it, it works, works, it works, it works. We need to lower the odds of them like spawning. Way too many trees right now. Holy crap. Oh, that's, that's a lot better. That's a lot better right there. Okay, we gotta hurry up though. Three minutes. Oh god. All right, so this is the prompt. I wanna be able to break and place blocks. So I'm gonna send that. So it's telling us we're gonna have to add a whole entire new script here called Block Interactor. Oh, no chance. We can we can place blocks now. Can we break them? Oh, we can break them. Oh, and it says if we press two, oh, we can place grass. If we press three, we can place wood. And four, we can place leaves. Oh. All right, but it kind of sucks that the timer's up now. 
because for whatever reason it decided to get rid of the trees like it, it just totally got rid of them i just want to see what the final game would actually look like if it did it properly yeah so it's adding the trees back in all right chat let's give it a play go there we go that is nice oh uh whoops very very impressive for one hour what else is there to be said all right so right now i'm in grok and i have grok 4 selected and anyways we're gonna start off by getting all the textures just like we did for ChatGPT. <coughs> wow bro these are so cool it says we can go for like a pixel art style so i'm gonna press this and see what it gives us what in the world i mean this is so bad i'm just gonna ask ChatGPT to give me better prompts for grok <laughs> okay you know what it's kind of better than what it was doing it'll have to do so we'll download it all right now we'll do dirt not bad at all you know, since this one is more like detailed, I'm gonna go with this one because it's more detailed. Now it's time for the wood. Okay, so I asked for a wood texture. It gives me this and this. Why would it give me this? What is, why? Why would it do that? That is not wood. This, this is okay. I'm just, I'm just gonna ask it again. Wow, fantastic. Just fantastic. All right, fine. I'll go with this one, I guess. Time for the leaves. This one looks pretty good. Grok made a good texture for once. All right, so I'm in another new chat right here. And here's all the sprites it made. Anyways, I'm gonna paste the same prompt that it gave to ChatGPT, so it's a nice and fair competition. And here we have the one hour timer. So I'm gonna send this, and then start the timer. I do have thinking mode on, so, oh, it thought for six seconds and it's already ready. Nice. That wants to use a new input system, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. I guess we should install the input system here. It has been six minutes, and all we've done so far is install an input system. Grok is so cool. So now it just wants to create the player and attach the camera to it. Simple. All right, now for the player movement script, we're gonna copy this. And then we can go ahead and paste this in into Visual Studio Code. And then I made another script called Mouse Look. Then once this is to set up the input system here. This is so unnecessary, by the way. I don't know why it's having me do this, I swear. It's 13 minutes in. I'm restarting, bro. All right, so I'll reset the Unity project. I'm just gonna send this and then start the timer again. Okay, so I have everything set up and it's been oh, four minutes compared to 13. Let's give it a shot. Okay, look at that. We are jumping around in the scene right now. All right, now I'm gonna ask it for the blocky terrain. So we're gonna send that. It looks like I've reached my limit of two Grok 4 questions per two hours. How much does it cost to upgrade? $40 a month? I'm gonna do it. My purchase was successful. All right, so now I can start the timer again, and then we can ask it for the blocky terrain. All right, it looks like it's using a similar approach to ChatGPT. First, we gotta set up the uh, materials. So here's all the materials we got. The dirt, the grass, the leaves, what? Sweet. Now wants us to make the terrain a generator script right here. So let's go ahead and copy this and paste it in. Wow. Is that the only script? I'd be surprised if this worked. All right, chat. Let's see if it cooked. Oh, shoot. Whoa, what's going on here? This is all a generator. <laughs> we would be better off with just like um, just a straight plain green material. I feel like, you know, I actually might have a solution for this. So you can mess around with the tiling here so I can make it like half of what it was at. And there it becomes like a little less detailed. Okay, now it looks okay. Now we just needed to make more chunks. Right now it just creates one chunk that's 16 by 16 blocks. So we need to make more chunks. We have 42 minutes left, not too bad. All right, so it gave us some new code here and it doesn't even look that bigger than the original one. Okay, yeah, they definitely made some more. It says we're getting 30 FPS. 30 FPS for this. So now let's have it spawn trees on top of that. All right, so here's the updated script. Let's go ahead and copy this. You paste it in there here. So now it's at 113 lines of code. Whoa. Oh my God, I spawned inside of a tree. What's going on here? So the trees definitely work. I want to see how much FPS we're getting. If you look around here, 27 FPS, 26. I mean, I am on my laptop right now, but I mean, we're rocking like an RTX 3060. I think an RTX 3060 should be getting a little bit more than 30 FPS in a tiny little Minecraft clone. All right, there's that. I'm just gonna lower the tree spawn a little bit and then we can get to the next step. All right, that's a lot better. All right, so now we want to be able to break blocks. So I'm gonna ask it to add that and we have 31 minutes left it's doing a lot better than ChatGPT right now the only thing it isn't doing better in is performance obviously okay so it wants me to make some adjustments to the terrain generator script right here okay now it wants us to create a new script called block interactor so we can copy this and ka -chow. we should be set let's see 
Uh oh, we got an error. It says tag block is not fine. Let me try to add a tag right here. One second. One second. Block. There we go. Much better. I think we break by pressing by right clicking here. Oh yeah, that's how you do it. And there's the dirt blocks. They are very noisy. Same with the wood. I'm gonna have to mess with the tiling for like all of them. The wood looks a lot better now. But let's see about the dirt. Ah, uh, yeah. All right, now we got to place blocks. So I'm gonna give it this prompt and send it. 22 minutes left. Okay, here we go. So copy the script and paste in the new one. All right, for the moment of truth. Three, two, one. Place. Uh, what? Doesn't seem to be placing, does it? So it gave us this new script. I'm gonna try to place it. Oh, and we can place blocks now. All right, well, that's the game. It is finished here. And we finished off with 10 minutes and 48 seconds left. So I was able to make this less than 50 minutes. Looks just like Minecraft too. Okay, so which AI do you guys think performed better here? You know, me personally, I, I think this is a very close one. So I'm gonna have to give it a tie. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. And please, 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 please subscribe. Thank you.